Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This endless fight in between Pastor Nganga and the government of the day is not for the first time we are hearing that the plot where the church of Pastor Nganga is is being taken by the government of the day. This is something that we saw during the regime of Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta. And again, it is a battle that is coming again when it comes to this regime of William Ruto, as the CS of land, Alice Wahome, they're coming out clear that they are going to take that land from Pastor Nanga. But again, when you look at the response of Pastor Nanga, you will understand there's something wrong somewhere. Pastor Nanga is saying that this land, he bought it a long time ago. And his land where he has built the church is next to be what's land. And when you look at the land, his land, in a tafutu asana, kuliko ata ile shamba ya biwot. In other words, in this video, I'm not interested with the land of biwot. What you are going to discuss in this video, what are these law that these cabinet ministers of lands in different regime they usually come out to interpret when it comes to the land of Maina uh, uh, Nganga, James uh, Pastor Nganga. But at the same time, Pastor Nganga has come out many a times saying that he will face the government of the day. And he always come out cursing the government of the day, that they will see fire if any case they will decide and take his land. He's not going to relent and he's going to fight for that land. Watch whatever Pastor Nganga is saying. Waziri moja nimesikia anangangana na mimi. Amesema te achiwe mimi. Wewe waziri sita kutaja. Lakini walewe mimi siri kayako. Mimi siku wa university na wewe. Waziri na kuwabia tu. Uwelewa mimi siri kayako. Mimi siri kayako. Nelitairiwa 72. Iki waja ukichikuwa mungu wako nita. Mutachomeka na ndege. Apana. Nitoka Mombasa bwana kaniambia nikuje Nairobi. Nikasukuka nikaenda Figitree, nikaenda Babeshi, nikaenda wapi? Mwisho nikakodisha hii iko hapo. Nikaja hii, hii ni abiwoti. Kwa nini abiwoti haigusi? Kwa nini hii abiwoti haigusi? Hii iko petrol station ni ya kanisa tu. Ndio mngoe vile mlingoa Uhuru Park. We. Mimi najua naweza kuja na buduki after listening to Pastor Nanga, this is a clear indication that there is a kind of wrangle in between Pastor Nanga and the Ministry of Land. Pastor Nanga is saying that the land where he has just built the church he bought it long time ago, 1990s. And he has never been asked about that land. But since the regime of Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, now William Ruto again, these people are going after him. At the same time, this also reflects what you've seen. The government of the day will just come out and declare that this is the public land, this is the public land, this is the public land. Without in a, in a, any ver verification, you will find yourself vacating because they are saying you grab the land and the land belongs to the public. Without even giving a verification uh, process that this person was given a title deed, who gave this person a title deed, and which law did these people follow? That is it. But we are having different government of the days that will come out just to declare this is the public land. In other words, you will find yourself, them coming out to say it, it is public land, but they want to own it. Just after vacating, you will find yourself, the plot that you bought, you own it, you're being vacated there, they're coming out and build their hotels there, their shops there or their plots, 
They are going to benefit on that land because they have the instrument of powers. They will come out and write the title deeds. Wachakucha wajiandikia title deeds yao. And because Ali Sohome is the CS of land. And remember these individuals, we know them very well. These politicians, we know them. Watakuja na idea yeyote na kuwakikisha kwamba they own lands that, that are going to benefit them. And that is why just five years, you'll find that a member of parliament who is, who is supporting the government of the day is so rich, multi-rich. When look at cabinet minister, so rich. Principal secretary, so rich. You know, the chairperson of boards and parastatals, they are so rich. Why? Because you'll find that these people are squandering the public resources in the name of protecting the public. They will say, this land was to be built a hospital here. Hapa ilikuwa nitakana jengo usupitali. Hapa ilikuwa nitakana jengo police station. That is what they always come out. Hapa nitakana jengo shule. That is what they will tell you. Na hapa nitaku jengo asoku. Na ndiyo mana wakati uote, ule William Ruto anakuja wangu kusema kwamba, we have a housing program where if the government will come and tell you that this is a public land, vacate. I was watching a certain video yesterday of Pioneer Eldorit. And this house is ilijengwa a long time ago. Before even independent. Nezimekua for a long period of time. Some people wamekua kiishi pale. Na vile wanaambiwa wa vacate ni just a one day notice. Na kesho wameingia. Wanawatoa. Why? Because they want people to vacate. They want to build houses there. The people who are going to benefit towards those, those houses, simply these politicians who are in this regime, simple and clear. So we are having this behavior where if some people are having the access to this government and they are allied to the government, they will do what they can do. They will do what they can do. Be it aligned to the law or not, they will do it. So Pastor Nana is coming out to uh, not relent. And he's not coming out a state sending his message. And the other day, by the way, um, who is this member of parliament? Sabina Chege. Sabina Chege attended a church service at Pastor Nana's church. And Pastor Nana came out telling her that she is close to William Ruto. Go and tell your boss. Because Sabina Chege is allied to William Ruto. Of course, William Ruto is our boss. So, aenda ambia boss yake kwamba hii shamba awachane nani. Na kama anataka laana, hakuji kwa hii shamba. And that is what Pastor Nanga has been always saying. We have not seen also about the issue of Nanga only, but you saw also the government of the day coming out to question the, the, the Pastor Ezekiel's land. And this, I don't know how they came out finalizing that they never wanted to fight Pastor Nanga again. Well, I, I saw immediately the case of Pastor Mackenzie came in. Pastor Ezekiel Alefuatua, and even the land th that he built his church, schools, his home, was seriously um, eyed with this people who are allied to the government of the day. Yani walikuwa na matamanio kwamba wangekuwa na uwezo wa kuchukua hiyo shamba na vile already na develop. So I think um, there must be a law that if a church has been given a title deed and you're planning to evacuate them let them be compensated wapewe shamba ingine yenye wanapenda wana wanajua kwamba hii haitakuwa mbali na matarajio yetu na compensate pastor nganga wape pesa yake yote naenda nnoe mali pengine na nini if truly pastor nganga bought that land na kuna evidence let them come out compensate the nganga and the pastor of course pastor nganga let pastor nganga go and build his church somewhere aenda nnoe mali you know na ajenge because coming out kumskuma na alinunua kweli mbele ya Mungu alinunua because you cannot tell me pastor nganga alikuja na ni CBD Ati aliamuka tu subuhi na kajenga nini hapa. Wewe unaweza muka tu saa yote na uende ujenge kanisa ya CBD. It is not possible. So what they should come out to do 
is to ensure if Pastor Ngang about it and he has the title deed, let them come out and compensate. Na kama ni njia ya railway, nilisikia wengine wakisema hivyo, then let them come out and compensate Pastor Ngang'a. Then let Pastor Ngang'a go away. But when you look at the way he's coming out to Kasiak in William Ruto, let me tell you, you might take it like a joke, but let us wait, whatever is going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think?